kids it is week five of our experience and that means it's the last week of the month Boo! I'm so sad about it but all month long we were learning about knowledge did you learn a lot about knowledge this month I hope you did listen you can learn a whole lot in your Bible which you're gonna need for this experience grab your Bible grab a pen and grab something to write on we're gonna get started right now Welcome to the wild side. It's time to play animals or animals. There are all kinds of different and crazy animals out there. Your job is to decide whether each animal is an animal or animal. Are you ready? Let's go. First up, a pleasing fungus beetle. What do you think, animal or animal? The answer is animal. Next, a velociraptor. Animal or animal? The answer is animal. What do we have here? A Yeti crab? What do you think? Animal. You have to look close for this one. A raspberry crazy ant. You decide animal or animal. The answer is animal. Next up, a Burmese tiger dog. What do you think? Animal. Let's keep searching. A double fisted boxing shrimp. And it's not real. Animal. The next creature, a hellbender. Animal or animal? The answer is animal. Next up is a forest chicken. What do you think? The answer is animal. How about a ring-tailed spider puppy? Take a guess. Animal. Last one, a syrup urchin. What do you think? Animal. Bonus round, red-lipped batfish. Take a guess. Animal. Thanks for playing Animal or Animal. It was a wild time. What's up, TC Kids? This is the last week of Bottom Life in the month of January. And this week, it's so simple. Okay, are you ready? If you don't know something, just ask. Sometimes you have people in your life and you need to ask the question. So ask the question. Let's say it one more time. If you don't know something, just ask. Great job. See you next week. Search.
Was this your first time checking out TC Kids? Well, that means that you are a VIP. VIP stands for very important person. And you probably already knew that, but that is you. You can click the link below that says I'm new to TC Kids so that we can get to know you and send you more information about what it means to be a part of our TC Kids family. We cannot wait to meet you. This month's memory verse is Proverbs 2 verse 6 and it says the Lord gives wisdom. Knowledge and understanding come from his mouth. How cool is that? Can you guys say that with me? Proverbs 2 6. The Lord gives wisdom. Knowledge and understanding come from his mouth. Great job! Today we're in the first book of the New Testament, Matthew. But before Matthew, in the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to draw people back into a relationship. So at the right time, God sent a tiny baby to be born in the small town of Bethlehem, God's very own son, Jesus. God sent another special baby named John to a priest named Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth. Even before John was born, an angel told his father Zechariah that John would point people to God, which is exactly what John did. And that's where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone. John was a uh, unique kind of guy. He wore rough clothing made from camel skins, and for food, he scavenged crunchy locusts and ate honey from wild bees. John preached to crowds by the Jordan River, calling them to turn back to God. Then he dipped them into the waters and drew them up again as a sign of their changed hearts. I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I am will come. 
I'm not good enough to untie the straps of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Then Jesus himself came down to the Jordan River and asked John to baptize him. It is right for us to do this. It carries out God's holy plan. As Jesus emerged dripping from the waters, heaven opened up. John saw God's Spirit rest on Jesus as a dove. They heard God's voice from heaven. This is my son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. If John had any doubts about who Jesus was, it seems they would have been washed away in that very moment. I mean, he heard God's actual voice. Soon after, John pointed to Jesus and cried out, Look, the Lamb of God, he takes away the sin of the world. After 40 days in the wilderness alone with God, Jesus began to gather followers and to teach and heal people. John gladly pointed his own disciples to follow Jesus instead. I am not the Messiah. I was sent ahead of him. He must become more important. I must become less important. Now, John didn't stop his own teaching, though and he didn't sugarcoat the truth, even when speaking to powerful leaders. In fact, John came head to head with Herod, the Roman appointed ruler of Galilee. You have broken God's laws. You, you locust eater. I can do whatever I want. Herod was so angry, he had John thrown in prison. John, who was used to wind and sky, was now confined to narrow walls in dim light. He heard only snatches of news from the outside when his followers were allowed to visit him. Jesus healed a woman who's been sick for 12 years. He even brought a little girl back to life. Instead of encouraging John, the news he heard began to weigh on him, especially as the months ticked by. One, two, three, four, five, six, Soon, John had been behind bars for, well, maybe as long as a year. All kinds of questions and doubts began to creep into his heart, like the rats that skittered across his cell floor at night. When is Jesus going to start getting rid of the Romans? What about that new kingdom that was supposed to come? If Jesus is really the Messiah, why am I still stuck here? The questions gnawed away inside of John, even though he had actually heard God's voice. He began to grow sick with doubt. Finally, John sent several of his followers to Jesus with a cry straight from the heart. John's followers found Jesus surrounded by an eager crowd. And as Jesus touched each sick person, illness dropped away. People blind or deaf from birth could see and hear in an instant. John's followers squeezed through to make themselves heard. Please, Jesus, John wants to know, are you the one who is supposed to come? Or, or should we look for someone else? Now, Jesus could have been annoyed with John for asking more questions and needing assurance. Instead, Jesus offered clear evidence of God's work. Go back to John. Report to him what you hear and see. Blind people receive sight. Disabled people walk. Those who have skin diseases are made clean. Deaf people hear. Those who are dead are raised to life. And the good news is preached to those who are poor. Blessed is anyone who does not give up their faith because of me. We don't know exactly how John responded when he received this compassionate message from Jesus, but he could know that Jesus wasn't angry or annoyed about the questions. Those words must have been a, a breath of fresh air for John. He was still in prison, but he could have the comfort of knowing that Jesus hadn't forgotten him. And then in the midst of a, of a clamoring crowd, Jesus had stopped to send a message crafted just for John. So, wow. John had actually heard God speak from heaven, and he still wasn't sure? Yeah, I mean, it's super easy to forget and start doubting no matter what we see or hear. Even when things don't go our way. Yep, but God will never get angry with us for asking. In fact, Jesus' brother James wrote this, if any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. 
God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. Today, you can make Jesus the leader of your life by praying a simple prayer. If you'd like to do this, close your eyes, bow your head, and repeat after me. Say, Dear God, Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. I believe he lived, died, and rose again just for me. Today, I give you my life. Change me. Renew me. Transform me. I'm yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, if you just said that prayer and meant it with your whole heart, we want to be the first to say, way to go! We are so excited that you are now a part of God's family. We have a couple next steps for you. The first one is, you need to let someone know. You can tell your dog, your mom, your aunt, tell everyone. Also, let us know by clicking the link below that says, I choose Jesus. The second thing is, you might be wondering, how can I grow in my relationship with God? Well, it's simple. All you need to do is pray and read your Bible. The Bible is full of amazing stories, and prayer is simply just talking with God. Lastly, you need to keep come back and keep joining us because you're a part of the TC Kids family. This is so exciting. Make sure you like, subscribe, so you can keep joining us every single week and so you don't miss a thing. Great job. Hey, was it your first time checking out TC Kids? That means you are our VIP. VIP stands for a very important person. That's you. Yeah, so click the link below that says I'm new to TC Kids. We can't wait to meet you. TC Kids, it's almost time to say bye, bye, bye. Well, you probably don't even know that song. Anywho, listen, we made it through our experiences and we had so much fun hanging out with you. We learned all about knowledge and we memorized our memory verse out of Proverbs 2, 6. Listen, we love you so much. We're so grateful that you keep on hanging out with us. We'll see you right back here next month when we've got a new topic, a new memory verse, all the things. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be amazing. Join us right back here next month at TC Kids. We love you. We'll see you soon. Bye.